this morning. Unloaded up there and reloaded a bunch of shit. And then from there all the way up to Onion Lake. And now we're heading back home. We're about two and a half hours from home right now. And so I woke up at like friggin' quarter to four and by 4.30, 20 to 5, we were on the road. But yeah, that's how she was today. Sorry I didn't take you guys along for the ride, but that's just how it goes sometimes. So anyway, yesterday after I got loaded up, I freaking ended up having got a phone call from the wife and she asked me to pick up her prescription from the pharmacy. So I freaking pulled into the pharmacy and I'm standing at the counter waiting discussing the drugs that she was getting and behind me is a group of like five or six people all huddled together real tight so much for the social distancing thing anyways the pharmacist asked them to uh, stand in the stand in the aisle behind the yellow line and maintain a proper distance well they didn't friggin move and they were within arm's reach if I'd have spun around with my arm stuck straight out I'd have slapped every one of them but anyways so she asked them like three times finally they were they weren't moving and I spun around and I said, look, the lady said that you're supposed to be in that aisle over there, and you're supposed to be behind the yellow line, and you're not supposed to be this freaking close to me. Now, back off. They moved. Can you believe it? The freaking guys would not listen to the female talking to them nicely, but they listened to the ugly bugger with the big ugly beard. Not screaming at them, but being forceful. Then they friggin' moved. Take a guess what I'm talking about, or what kind of people I'm talking about. Anyways, just to give you, show you what it's like out here. And the mayor of Regina, Saskatchewan, he shut down all the little kid parks, all the parks with all the play structures and stuff. Done. No more, no more going over there. And the dog walking parks, done. No more going in there either. And he said indefinitely. Well, I don't know about you guys, but indefinitely to me means those that property that those parks are on means that that stuff is gone. It's going to be removed and used for something else. No more dog parks. No more kitty parks. Yeah, bullshit is what I say. He said indefinitely, but... I don't believe it. As soon as this coronavirus thing is freaking done and over with, the kids will be back. Guaranteed. The kids will be back. So, but yeah, we're just trucking her on down the road. That's what we're doing today. Anyway, guys, you all have yourselves a good day. Give us an old thumbs up if you can. Or a thumbs down. Doesn't really matter. Send us a comment. Subscribe. Tell your friends, you know the drill. Anyways, let's get her done, boys.